We're going to do some test cuts here for the first time with this SolSilva CNC machine. I had a little bit of cable chain. This is pretty small for this machine, but it helps keep it under control. And as far as the wire that's feeding the Z and a little Dremel, this was just black taped together. Got a 3D printed bracket here to give this some support. That's pretty strong right there. And we've got the other side of the wire just tightened down. And for the cable chain, this was actually one of the pieces that didn't work for here. And I held on to all these parts. The piece right here is also one that was designed to fit here that didn't fit perfectly. So these extra pieces do come in handy. The part that I'm going to cut out now is the part that I originally designed for the back of the Z carriage. So we'll do that in some foam, some insulation foam, and just see how that goes. So let's turn on the Dremel. This is always a little scary when you start something new with this. First cuts on this machine. Operational. Looks pretty good. Let's move this out of the way and take a look. It is so nice to have all this extra space. Quiet those motors down. Looking pretty good. Very, very good. Still playing with the settings, the speeds, the retractions, and and all of those things. But these are very, very clean. Um, a little bit of an early entry into that hole. That can be played with. These look very, very good. And again, this piece was the same piece that was cut on the 3040 CNC that is this piece right here. Some other tests that we'll do soon will be circles and squares and see how true they are. And I want to run the setup again a couple times to really hone in on 
the steps per inch for all the three axes. But this is coming along. I'm very impressed. At least we can cut and foam, so that's a good start. And we'll go from there. Thanks very much for taking a look.